Hello guys, in this video we will learn how uh, to measure the signal strength of an uh, hardware device. Okay, So, for that uh, there is a already predefined application program that is called RSSI demo in the tutorial section. We will demonstrate that program in this tutorial. So, I just go to the tutorials in app folder. In that tutorial, I go to the RSSI demo. So it is capital R C D space RSSI demo. In that one, there are different programs. I will go to the sending mode application. So C D sending mode. Then I can check the num uh, files in this mode. We have configuration and source file in this mode. So just compile it. So I just make right make table C so it will compile the same. It will give the size of that program taken by when we write it on the hardware so it will take 11 kb of ram approximately 11 kb so i just uh, uh, allow the permissions to write on the hardware so and then let's let's uh, let's write directly so make uh, telos b reinstall So it's not allow me to write so I just change the permission with sudo command ch mod okay try the password okay then again run the same command it will write So there is a problem with the port. Let me check what is. Let me check the port number for this one. The port number is fine. Okay. So the command would be. D E V plus T T Y. Sorry for that. So now it will uh, erase the previous program on the hardware and it will write this program of size approximately 11 KB. Okay, now the sending mode is configured. I will plug out this mode from the laptop and plug in the another mode. I have plugged in another mode. I will come out from the sending mode. Now I have to make the base. So in the same application there is a folder RSSI base. I go to that folder R S I base. Check for the configuration file. Configuration file are exist in this one. Uh, then I write make. I already compiled this file, so I am not compile it again. I just reinstall on my hardware, reinstall uh, on this hardware DEV TTY uh, USB 0. Okay, so after this, there is a comma. So, for that, I need to allow permissions before I have changed the hardware so whenever you plug in the hardware new hardware it will ask for the permissions so I write the permission then call the same function again with telos be reinstall it will erase the previous program and write the 
new program the new program for this hardware is rssi base okay so now this is my base station and the previous hardware which is coded is my sending mode now i just uh, show you how this program is uh, going to run so uh, because i need to capture the signal stand so be before the communication is sta uh, will start i will uh, go to the because i need to capture for that i need to run the class file of java so i go to the folder java in that i need to run the class file rsi demo okay so if i run this class file rsi demo the packet capture will be shown okay like here uh, you go you compile this file rsi demo you compile it first i already compile it and then co uh, run this class file rsi demo with this Uh, on this serial port hardware okay so let me show you i compile it first java c r ssi demo dot java so it will compile and class file will be generated okay it is compiled now i will start the command java space the class file name rssi demo is a class file okay now the command line arguments is com serial at the rate the device name so the device is usb 0 and telos p okay so it is uh, trying to synchronize uh, so let me start the communication and show you the demonstration so uh, this is the hardware device i start the hardware device now on this device uh, this is a sending mode so when i plug in the cell uh, it will capture the packets so from from node 1 this is the rsi stand when i keep this node as far as uh, from this uh, uh, so system the rsi is weaker when i move this node with uh, closer to this node the rsi stand is uh, greater so you can uh, you can see on the screen so based on this movement of the second node the strength of the rssi signal changes okay so this way we can capture the received signal strength of this sending mode on the receiving base okay so by this way you can uh, configure your applications thank you very much for watching this video